about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now and to the next mortal after dark reading vlog i'm gonna read three different ones there will be timestamps down below so i'll be reading shadows claim mcreeve and dark sky in this vlog and if you are watching this the day it comes out tonight at 9 p.m is the live show where we'll be discussing all three of these over on charles at books on stereo's channel if you want to join us um or catch the replay whatever's fine uh, but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just throw it to me reading these but if you haven't read them this is full of spoilers so this is your warning <laughs> and i will throw it to me in the past reading these i am um, i have three hours left of shadows claim and i realize i haven't even updated you yet <laughs> I'm a failure. Anyways, I've spent today doing a lot of content stuff. So now, now I'm back and I'm listening to my book and I'm having such a blast. I forgot. I was thinking I didn't like this one because I gave it three stars in my first read apparently and in my reread. Um, and I do think it's, it's just so different from the rest of Cressley's books in this series, in my opinion. And it's different in the way that like the world's being set up like you're introduced to a whole new portion of the world kind of that we briefly saw in Lothair but like we're seeing even more of it right now and I really um I really like it I don't know Bettina is such a fun heroine and what is his name whatever his name is why did my brain just totally blank on it either way is also a really fun hero I think and I definitely um I'm just having a blast with this I'm on chapter 18 I'm almost done with it and Daisy Daciano is the guy's last name I know that I can't remember his first name either way it doesn't matter I am loving this one again in my reread though and I'm just having a total blast with it I have three hours and 13 minutes left right now and I will probably be done with it tonight. <laughs> Honestly, probably tonight. But I had to film some videos for this week and for next week to get ready. And then I, um, yeah, I mean, that's really about it that I'm doing, honestly. Um, it's been a quiet Tuesday. It's Tuesday, so it's been a pretty quiet Tuesday and I'm just kind of like, alternating between this and some other things that I want to read right now and obviously I have a lot to read this week again because <laughs> I keep doing this to myself where I have to read four books for a thing so I have to read three IADs and I have to read another book for something else I'm doing and then this weekend will be the mafia romance stuff so I'm excited but also a lot, a lot has to happen so I will talk to you in a bit when I'm further in this book and have more thoughts but for now I just really love the setup of this one it is banana pants bonkers and exactly the level of over the top that I want from Cressley at all times. <laughs> Hi. So I just finished Shadow's Claim and oh my gosh, I love this book so much. This is actually the first Immortals After Dark I ever read. I read this in 2013 for the first time and this is my third time reading it now. And I gave it three stars. I don't know why because I honestly like rereading it this time. Spectacular. Solid freaking four star read for me um maybe a five I'm not sure it's just like missing a little bit of something but it is so good it is so so good and I love that we get to see like La Dorado or whatever her name is La Dorado wow as well that was southern done and La Dorado La Dorado La Dorado whatever she sh they talk about her showing up they talk about Lothair's stuff and it just it's so good I really like Trahan I really like Bettina I really like Bettina she's definitely one of my favorite heroines also I mean I love all the heroines I'm always like this one's my favorite no, this one's my favorite but she was such a fun one I love that she like makes weapons <laughs> like that's so freaking bomb like oh I love that anyways yeah I love this book I love this story. Um, I really enjoyed how the miscommunication worked in this one also because it made sense. Like it made sense why Trahan thought she betrayed him and it made sense why she was like devastated and like of course I was always like thrilled when she got over Caspian because like ugh, I don't like him as a character 
and yeah that's a whole other situation though that I don't like him but yeah I um I really just enjoyed this so much this is just such a fun like I love a um I don't like it all the time but when I'm in the mood and it hits me in the right time I love the like battle to the deaths to like win the person's hand situations it's like so high stakes and with the romance you know it's gonna end well <laughs> So that's always just super enjoyable and I love it. I love it. I love it so freaking much and I can't wait to read McReeve. I've already started it and I'm already anxious but I will save that for the next update in a little bit. I'm making lunch so I can check in real quick about McReeve. One, I forgot about how much Monroe was in this opening. Also, I completely forgot the traumatic, traumatic, oh my gosh, so traumatic opening about Williams and the McGreep boys' his mom. I completely forgot. Wow. That was a lot. Like, the whole, like, him being seduced by a succubus and then that succubus and this vampire, like, killing his mom. That was a lot. Like, a lot more than I remembered. Um, and then we just left the auction... <laughs> And I'm already just really excited to see how this one unfolds. I don't remember any of the plot of this book. I know I've read it, <laughs> but this is like, I have no idea what's going on. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm really excited though. I can't wait to get through it today. But yeah, I'm making lunch and I'm just like listening to it and just thinking like, did I read this one? I know I did, but I remember nothing about it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really curious to see how it unfolds where we're headed i also like that her dad's like kind of a bad guy so that's interesting but yeah this one's i remember none of it from my previous reads <laughs> so as always that's fun am i already done with mcgreeve yes yes i am um i forgot about the preview from monroe's book and now i'm more angry that we have no news on it i so once we got through more of it and they were in Scotland or whatever, I remembered more of the plot. Angus is snoozing away. Um, so if you hear snoring, that's what it is. But yeah, so I remembered more of the plot once we got to Scotland. I just totally forgot about the beginning part. Um, I love the little kid werewolves who are like teens. They're delightful and I love Monroe and how he like helps Chloe like navigate this all when McGreeve is just being a douche canoe and it's just utterly delightful. I think it's so interesting when <laughs> reading this after um Trahan's book because he was very different he was very together and McGreeve is obviously dealing with a lot of PTSD and trauma from his childhood and what happened and how he's gonna deal with that as an adult. And I, lo I just loved it. I loved all their dynamics. I loved when Chloe kept calling him the Crypt Keeper. It cracked me up. <laughs> um, yeah, this one was great, five stars. Absolutely loved it. Now I'm gonna start Dark Sky, but I know, just we're gonna say now, I don't like Dark Sky that much either because I'm not a big angel person and there's just stuff about Dark Sky that's just like weird for me. That's that, and I will talk to y'all very, very soon when I get further into Dark Sky. Um, I started Dark Sky, and I hate this book. <laughs> listen, listen, if you have watched my channel in any capacity, I feel like my distaste for slut shaming is well known. My distaste for general, like, religion causing shame is well known. Um, I hate it. <laughs> and this book is chock full of it, y'all. And it is, ugh, yuck, yucky, yuck, yuck. But, uh, I'm gonna keep listening and I will finish it in a little bit. And yeah, I just, I like Ianthe a lot. I really like her. I just don't like Thronos. He's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And, uh, that's, that's where I'm at. He's terrible. I don't, yeah, this is gonna be like a three and a half, probably. I just, I hate this book. I hate it a lot. <laughs>
yeah, I really don't enjoy this one, but I'm gonna go get coffee. I am continuing my no sleep parade. Uh, we'll call it that. <laughs> and that is why I look a little messy right now because I am gonna go get coffee, fuel up, I'm gonna finish this book. And then hopefully get this vlog done for tomorrow. Literally. <sighs> it's fine. All right. I finished Dark Sky a little earlier tonight and I haven't had time to update. I, not Dark Sky. Yes, Dark Sky. That is the last book. <sighs> okay, listen. I apparently liked it my first read through more than I remembered, but I just, honestly, the purity stuff on this one is not it for me. Um, probably not surprising to anyone. <laughs> I don't enjoy purity culture stuff in general and I think obviously Cressy was like trying to push back against it. She wasn't trying to like enforce it in any way, but it just was weird, like really, really weird to me. And I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> um, I think Ianthe deserves a little bit better than Thronos. And I think he's kind of a dick. And I think, you know, he's very slut shamey and a lot of it's his brainwashing from the cult and I still think it was an interesting story to be part of after seeing Reckoners in Shadow's Claim and then having him, sorry, Peace is rubbing on the tripod, having him as our hero. But overall, it's just like a three and a half for me on reread. I think my favorite of these two, it's a pretty close tie between McGreeve and Shadow's Claim because both of them to me were really fun. Shadow's Claim is very different from everything else in the series. It kind of, well, it gives you Talisman High vibes kind of, but it's like a competition to win her hand, which I always enjoy. And then McGreeve was just a really fun Beauty and the Beast retelling basically with a very, very grumpy hero trying to figure it out. And this poor girl whose like father has completely betrayed her literally so yeah those two are my favorite <laughs> of this three but yeah uh i think that's all i've got on these books i hope you enjoyed this vlog i will see you back for the last one very very soon until monroe comes out which is stunning <laughs> i can't believe we're here but we're here now um and yeah i will see you back here for that vlog next month and if you made it this far drop me a soccer ball emoji for chloe in mcgreeve and you can find links down below in that description box to be my friend anywhere on the internet if you want to do that as well as links to all the books in this vlog if for some reason you're watching this and you haven't read them i, I, feel, th I feel like if you're here you've read these books probably but um who knows maybe you're just here to see me yell about a book um but yeah i'll see y'all in a few days Bye. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we wait